But on, hello everybody, welcome back, or just welcome to the channel, my name is Ben, and today, um, well if you don't know me, I'm a skill modeler, but this video actually applies to really any sort of product photography, so, uh, today we're going to be going over how I do my sort of white backdrop photography, it really gives your, your models or your products that you're selling or whatever, just a very, um, professional look to it um, and I, I, I noticed uh, in my earlier days of modeling that you know posting my pictures with sort of like the wooden backdrop or whatever it just uh, it didn't really look that great it was, it was really taking the quality of my models down severely that and I was just trash um, so uh, looking I, I figured that doing this sort of white backdrop stuff was super expensive and you needed some some sort of crazy lighting system and all that um, however it's not it really isn't I since found out that it's super cheap or well it can be super cheap now obviously if you're working for a company that like sells watches or whatever uh, you are gonna want to have something a bit more high-end that you can use at a more industrial scale I guess um, so that also, for example, your boss doesn't like nitpick you because it's too orange or whatever. Um, so this is really for the for the people selling on eBay or uh, for the scale modelers who don't have a lot of funding, you know. And me as a 15 year old, yeah, I don't got a lot of funding. So uh, let's get into what we need. So first of all, you're gonna need some sort of an elevated surface, especially if you're doing modeling, uh, mo especially if you're photographing models. Um, and by models, I mean like model tanks, not like ooh la la sexy people. Um, you're gonna need a piece of paper. Um, if you're if you're photographing small products, then A4 should be just fine. However, if you're doing larger, then A3 is better. Um, and then of course it goes bigger and bigger depending on how big your product is. Um, you're gonna need your your product itself. I'm gonna be uh, Photographing this uh, this wire tree that I made a while ago, and you're gonna need some some tape, and finally a source of light. So, like I mentioned, you don't need a crazy expensive lighting system or anything like that. Uh, here I have a super cheap, or well not super cheap, but like about twenty buck um, lamp from IKEA or IKEA, however you say it, and it's uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty nifty. So, basically, I'm going to show you guys how we set up the paper on this elevated surface. It's pretty easy. So, you're going to want to get a piece of tape, not too big, not too small either though, roughly like that. And basically, you're going to want to roll it onto itself and sort of create a, create a fold. So then you almost have like a double-sided tape, if that makes sense. Uh, so then, what you do is you stick it on the high end of your piece of paper, uh, which end doesn't really matter, and then, just take you guys up here, and then basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay my paper down as such, and you want, you want the back part to be taller than your actual product, so right here is about good for my tree. And now here's the secret. You don't want to fold here. Do not fold. Because it will you will see that crease very obviously. And then get your product, of course, put it on there, and sort of push it to the back again without making a fold at all. Now when it comes to the lighting, uh, I like to have my light sort of on top and looking down at the product. So then you have very soft shadow. Whereas here you can see the shadow is a bit more intense. So like that, it's, it's a bit less intense and uh, a bit nicer. And I would show you guys the sort of uh, taking the picture, but I can't because I'm recording from my phone. So yeah. Uh, so basically, you can see like that, it looks a lot bigger than it actually is. Um, and so basically, I'm just I'm just taking a picture where most of my phone is below the elevated surface, thus the elevated surface. So, I'm going to take the picture and then uh, show you guys some editing, so that, because obviously you want a 
she would want a true white uh, light bulb. Mine is a bit orange, so you can see that a little bit, but uh, you can sort of edit your pictures a little bit to make it a look a bit more white, and uh, it'll be good. So, I'll take my picture, and I'll show you guys how I edit it. Now, here you can see, uh, here you can see, using my extremely sketchy uh, screen recording software, I guess. Um, now you can see we're, we're here in my photo gallery, and we're just going to go to edit here. And this is what the navigation from most Android phones look like for the uh, for the editing. So, but generally most most phones have this, so you'll you'll be all right. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna crop out all of the edges where it's uh, it's gone, where the paper isn't in there, where it's not you know white. So uh, probably best for you to use a bigger piece of paper. I should have been using a bigger piece of paper here, but oh well. Um, but yeah, you want the whole background to be the paper, right? So then we're gonna go here to uh, to light settings first of all. We're gonna increase the exposure just a little bit, um, and you can see immediately this makes everything a lot brighter. We bring contrast to roughly the same level, if not a bit less, and we increase the whites a little bit. Now highlights, I don't like to mess with too too much. Uh, shadows I do bring up a little bit and that's it for light now we go to color and I bring the warmth down just a little bit you can see it makes quite the difference from that orange see if, if I were to go here it would be completely orange if I were to go here it would be completely blue so we want just to take away that slight tint of orange and now it's pretty much completely white now, saturation, of course, if you mess with that a bit too much and bring it all the way to the high end, you can see the orange, but generally you don't have to worry about that. So if you're photographing, you know, colorful pictures, you can still increase the saturation, just be aware of the issues that that might cause. But again, uh, if you're having too many crazy issues with that, just just use a, a true white uh, light bulb. And then, of course, you save it. And then we have our picture done. And you can see it's uh, pretty professional looking with a nice white backdrop. And in my opinion, it looks pretty good. So anyways, I, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, uh, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. It allows my page to grow and allows you guys to see more of my content. Um, if you learn something new, you know, you can always like and whatnot, uh, and comment. Any feedback is welcome. But in any case, thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, and yeah, stay safe, have a great day, and farewell. See you next week, guys.